What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a really quick unboxing and first impressions video of the Pioneer DJ XDJXZ. So this is a very controversial unit. Some people are happy that this is coming out. Some people are not so happy that this came out. Different fans of different manufacturers are all over the place on this one. So we're going to go through this one with the full out review within the next few weeks. So make sure you guys keep it locked and subscribe. This is just my really quick first impressions of what I think of the hardware just by looking at it. And also the first time that I'm seeing it along with you guys out of the box. So let's see what happens when we open the box of the XDJ XZ. This is an all-in-one DJ system. There are four channels here. However, you can only play back two channels internally. The other two channels will have to be external sources, or you can use Rekordbox DJ or Serato DJ Pro coming soon in order to have all four of your channels of mixing goodness. All right. Okay, so the first thing we have here is a power cable. I don't see a power brick yet, so hopefully this just has your internal power supply, and it just uses your standard IEC connection so that's a power cable it's really sturdy by the way next we get your instruction manual here quick start guide along with your warranty information and you also get your record box DJ license in there as well so you can use this right on the computer with record box DJ as soon as you get it as soon as you open the box Also in here, they give you a USB cable so you can connect this to the computer. Again, no USB-C here, just a regular A to B type USB cable here. Nothing to write home about. Let's see what else we got. This thing is huge. All right. Man. This is a powerhouse here. Wow. Really, really big, really heavy. It definitely feels like it's built well. It's a mixture of plastic and metal. It seems like mostly plastic on the underside, but it's definitely reinforced by metal, as I can see in the back of these inputs and outputs that are here. Man, this is a big controller or a big all-in-one device, however you want to call it. You have your USB sockets at the top. You have your huge, huge jog wheels with the DDJ-1000 style center area, so that way you can see a lot of your track information on the fly. You also have a screen that's pretty much pulled from the other XDJ lineup. Then you have, basically what you have essentially here is a DJM-900 Nexus 2. You have your low, mid, and high frequency effects, along with all the effects that come on those mixers as well. You also have your beat effects pad here. Your sound color effects are all here. So just a really, really huge behemoth of a controller. Very, very heavy, very large. And it's made to definitely mimic the CDJs along with your DJM-900 Nexus style setup. So for more on the review, make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to go through this in depth. We're going to go through it with Rekordbox, with Serato, and of course in all alone, standalone mode. And we'll show you what we do like and what we don't like on this. So make sure you guys subscribe, stay to the channel, because we'll have a lot of videos coming out before the end of the year. And make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you like videos like this one. And as always, thanks for watching.